Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of MechWare Online, and this time we have my Catapult K2 variant, which is, uh, uh, he, he has like these big arms with uh, PPCs on them. However, uh, you also get two ballistic slots, and so I've turned them into a Gauss Rifle uh, Catapult, which is actually kind of cool. Um, so, uh, I have literally nothing in my arms, I'm literally all about the Gauss Rifles. So I've been playing this game a lot, I have like a lot of little interesting builds that I can show off to you guys and all that, so... It's it's really quite interesting, and I, I I don't mind showing you guys at all like like some stuff. I've been also streaming this a whole lot too. Uh, if you caught it in the streams, and they're a whole lot of fun. So I'm still gonna make these um, weekly multiplayer LPs of, of games I'm currently playing. It's mostly this at the moment, and uh, people are finding it interesting uh, to see what kind of crazy shit I'm doing. So yeah. So um, this is this is my Gospel, and my map is all screwed up, so I can't use the map. Uh, so this is my Gospel, and um, so, I basically have 70 shots, uh, so you know, divide that by two because I have two Gauss Rifles, and, uh, um, I guess we're down to, okay. I, I'm apparently the end the fastest on this team. I love speed. I love the need for speed. Uh, so this is, this guy is mostly, uh, it's, if you remember me doing, uh, videos on my PPC sniper, this is almost the same, uh, with respect to playstyle, I just get a bit of that damage more up front, but I have ammo limitations, which is kind of not the best, so. Um. Wow, uh, everyone appears to be on top of me for this, so I have to be, I have to use my eyes rather than my... Uh, the, the game's not, kind of glitchy in the sense that it has some memory leak problems and, and some other issues, so. Um, so, uh, so people often actually think that the Goss Pult is actually a cheesy build. And I don't actually think that's the case because I don't think I don't actually believe in cheesy builds because uh, I think that uh, for every build that um, seems like like a piece of shit, um, there's always there's always a disadvantage to it basically. And I hit that guy pretty good. So um, okay, so I got missiles coming towards me. So there's always a disadvantage to it. So in my case, my disadvantage is. My lack of ammunition, essentially. And ammunition is a huge, huge problem for me. Uh, and, and it's also, the, the cooldown is a bit higher than the PPCs. Honestly, I prefer the PPCs over over this. Uh, but you, you do not get the, um, it's it's basically, I guess the best frame of reference you have is uh, the ER PPCs. Uh-oh, this guy hit me. Okay, and let's get this guy back. Oh, got him, destroyed him. And so that's why people think it's cheap, it's because I just literally cored that guy and did not take me a lot of whole lot of effort. But as I said, um, you know, you, you, all you have to do is, you, like, the way you play this game is you play it in such a way that, uh, that you, you, you know what's coming at you and you know the best way of handling it. New target acquired. So in my case, like, when, when there's a Goss Pult, you, you, you have to work with the team and kind of New target them down. Acquired. Uh, let me go take out this guy. And I think I'm missing. I'm gonna help with this atlas here. This is one of one of my advantages is I can. Uh, I'm I'm a great fire support mech. So, but the thing about this mech in particular is you get your damage up front, and you kind of just. Uh, you have to you have to kind of play very carefully as well. Like that that's that's why I like this guy. It's for the, the reason that like you know, um, it's just just really high burst damage. But you see, I'm I'm at about forty now, so and I, I didn't kill him yet apparently. Uh oh, let me run away. I think we're about to die, which is not good. Yeah, it looks like I'm the only one alive. Damn it. Well, that's the end of that one. Now, here's a scoreboard. Alright, uh, here's another matchup, and I'll continue where I left off. So, yeah, you get your damage up front, and the, what I mean by that is um, each Gauss Rifle does 15 damage, uh, opposed to the PPCs, which do 10. So, you, you get five, you get, it's basically like having three PPCs opposed to two. Uh, which you saw on my my catapult mech, um, which is which is okay. Uh, it's just basically PPCs have, uh, PPCs have unlimited ammo, a slightly faster fire rate. I'm I'm pretty.
pretty certain about that. And a little bit rubber banding around. Uh, a little bit faster fire rate, and and no, and the, the ammo limitations are a big deal because I, I I was actually down to forty. So you can't solo a team with this, and you can't like spam it happily. That's that's my other problem is you can't suppress people with uh, Goss because it, you have to you have to make all the shots count, right? So it's um I think it's I think it's a serious disadvantage to what someone's already here. Wait, you can, you can completely fuck over lights though. Okay. Unfortunately, the lights are pieces of crap. Oh, we missed. And like the the, the fucking cooldown time on the weapons is just so ridiculous. Like I, I can't. I can't time it. I, I can time the PPCs. I don't. I don't play with this one enough. Actually, you can call it a problem. Whatever. All right. Uh, what's this guy? I'm, I'm slightly concerned. Oh, okay, he's he's a. Oh no, he went he went in the other direction. And PPC projectiles are also faster now, so there's even more of a reason to use PPCs at this point. I want to hit his leg. Alright, you have to kind of be careful, you don't want to shoot one of your teammates in the back. Let's go. Fuck with this guy. Kill assist! These poor guys are just running into us. Uh oh. I'm gonna handle this guy. So, my arms to me, I don't even care about them. Uh, the arms literally have nothing but the endo steel in them, which is like completely fucking pointless. Okay, we got kill assist on him, that's nice. Uh, I'm gonna back up slightly because we're being cornered. Pins are moving or whatever. I'm gonna move back into the caves here. Wow. Oh, another kill assist. So, my whole thing is I have to be kind of like a sharpshooter and I have to basically help my team by aiming, aiming very well and hitting them where. I also, oh no, I don't have that picture-in-picture picture thing uh, right now. It's it's a cool setup. But I, I I would recommend it. It's it's fun. But I, as I said, I don't think it's overpowered because there's plenty there's plenty of cheesing builds in this, and this is just kind of like there are clear disadvantages to it, uh, and you kind of have to play in that way. And as I said, I pr I don't really prefer this mech uh, overall. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, I missed. New target acquired. Kind of just have to aim ahead and just hope for the best. I think it's just uh, Raven and something else left. And you know what? You know what? As I said, it's it's far from the most broken thing this game currently. I think the most broken thing is the light lag, like lights lag a lot, and the ECMs don't exactly help. Because if you try and play a light without an ECM, uh, you get you get completely fucked. It's just it's ridiculous, and the speed of lights is just really. Here we go. I got him. One and look, that, that didn't even kill him. So it's like you know he has enough armor to last through it. So as I said, this is far beat from the most overpowered thing in this game. I, I, don't, I don't even know if you could say it's o anything is overpowered because everything is basically um, a destroyed component. But it looked like I clearly missed. All right, let's try and get this guy on that. Just keep going. Look at that. I'm, I'm down to 26 yeah, shits. Okay. Now, one of the things I do want to mention, though, is I I have all my ammunition, mostly my legs, one in my cockpit, and the rest of my my left torso. Why? Because case is crap. Case, I would not I would not even bother with case, and the reason for that being is it's it's half a ton, which is unnecessary because I've already used the ammo in my left torsos. So if my, they hit my left torsos, I know how the ammo ammo distribution works. It takes it from your torsos first, and then your legs. Um, I, I hit him. I hit him pretty square on. You see what I mean by the leg? Like this. Like this is the worst guy. And I think he wants to kill me. He's, he's making my my team shoot him, shoot me. So I don't even know where he went. Um, the case is just simply not worth it. it, it maybe in some case where you have like a heavier mech. With ammo you don't think you'll ever use, but it's really not worth it, uh, which I'll talk about some more later.
Okay, so back on what I was saying about case. Um, so the thing with case is that it's it's meant if your ammo gets hit and explodes, it makes it so it doesn't damage your mech and makes it so the explosions can't go outside your mech or something like that. It's one critical and half a ton. And the reason why it's crap is because basically you can put most of the ammo in your legs, uh, so you shouldn't really have it in your in your side torsos at all or your center torso or, or your arms or whatever. And the thing is, oh, you're like, okay, what if they shoot my legs? Well, uh, the thing is, though, my, my legs have comparable... They're difficult to hit. They have comparable armor to uh, to my center and side torsos. And they're, and my side, center and tie, tor side torsos are much easier to hit. No one's going to shoot me in the legs. I mean, there's going to be one person out there who does that who thinks they're being smart. But it, when it comes down to it, you're going to miss the legs much more. It just it doesn't really make sense. I, I've never played a game where I've been like, fuck, I... I shouldn't have put the ammo in my legs. No, it's it, it always makes sense to put it in my legs. So, uh, equipping case just doesn't make sense. The way they could fix this is basically make it take up no tons. Make it a critical. Criticals are still very important. They're very valuable um, restrictions on a mech. So, like it's kind of like the the, ca uh, the the clan cases from the older games. Uh, and just do that. That's that's the easiest thing. I think just just make it make it a free make it a free thing. That would fix it. That would fix it for me. This this map. I don't know why, but feels really dark to me. I feel like I'm gonna like completely miss somebody. All right. Target acquired. Uh oh, I missed him. New target acquired. Damn. That's what I mean, but I it's it's dark. So where's my the rest of my team going? They're going that way, so I feel I should accompany them. Because if I go this way, I'm gonna get singled out and, and killed because I'm not playing with friends Target or anything. Acquired. I'm still playing a relatively fast mech. I, th I think that's also a very important thing, but you know, as I said, case case I just I never saw the point. See speed got me speed got me past that. He couldn't he couldn't protect my movement. Because, you know, you expect heavy mechs to go a certain speed, and I'm actually going much faster than the normal heavy mech. This is the slowest commando I've ever seen. It's Death Lord. Alright. So, uh, the ship here, the, this uh, this ship is actually kind of cool. On, on some variants of this map, it's not there. Which is pretty fucking awesome. Alright, let's go kill this guy. Oh, no, I missed. Can't really see him. I can't fucking see him either. Oh, now I can see him, sort of. Okay, he's he's sort of moving a lot, so let's go. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what I meant to do. Thanks, game. What is he fucking aiming at? What the hell is it doing? This is the worst game ever. Okay, no, no, I love this game. I'm just kidding. Because these goss shots are fucking so valuable for me. So I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I've, that's the first guy I've hit all day, and it's like fucking, well, the first guy I've hit this match, but still. I'm, I'm mad. <laughs> I, can't, I can't explain it. New target acquired. Uh, 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 this guy is not in a position where I can hit him. Okay, now he is. Did I hit him? No. No, I'm not seeing any damage indicators. I don't know why I can see like a little thing there. It'd be nice to kind of just snipe out some of these guys. Unfortunately, they made backup us. Backhopping is really pointless now because it's just a, well, it is an experience bonus, but it's pretty much it. ECM team wins again. I, yeah, I don't deny it. ECM really does change the way people play. Like I said, I don't think it's necessarily overpowered. I just think it it does. It is a huge advantage. Especially if you're like LRM, uh, LRM the team. You missed me, and now I'm over here. Um, my team's gonna completely screw this guy because he's. Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna come around the corner here. Whatever. New target acquired. You know, I feel I haven't done anything. Oh well. Target acquired. This is what I mean, I don't know, I don't like, because I've wasted a shit ton of ammo basically, okay. and I'm, I'm now basically chasing this cataphract around a corner. This is like a... I don't know. Goss bolts, man. There we go. If you get behind people, it's great. Fortunately, I, I don't think that this game is really in, in question of who's going to win. And I think I hit my own teammate there. 
I think we got another Gauss Bolt here. I'm hearing another Gauss. Oh, I got hit by something. I got his number. Nope. Okay. No, I don't have his number. ECM is pretty powerful. I have to say, you, you, I mean, you guys watched me play my, my Draven with the ECM, and that makes it really, because he's got like, what, three medium lasers and two Streak SRM, Streak SRM's man are like the best thing against lights, which is why you basically have to play a light with ECM, it's, that's the problem that, that occurs, is basically it, it devalues, uh, the effectiveness of some of the other mechs, essentially. And that's why I don't really uh, like. It's not, as I said, it's not worth whining about and saying it's overpowered. It's it's frustrating, sure, but uh, just like you know, Goss bolts, sure they're frust frustrating, uh, but they're but they're fun to play. So it's a, it's an interesting little sniper play style that you can you could do uh, with ammunition based weapons. Um, it's it's worth playing. It's worth trying out. It, it's just that it it costs a lot in the criticals. It costs a lot in the tons, and so I don't know. I like this mech that's in front of me. That's like. Jiggling his leg. Dude, he's just itching to get started. Anyways, uh, I'm going to play one last round here. Uh, and this one's going to... I'm just going to talk about the catapult variants a little bit. Because uh, you have seen me do just the PPC sniper one. I will do an LRM LR1, LRM one just to show you. I still don't like LRMs. Uh, I, I gave it another shot with the best setup I could possibly use. And it still didn't appeal to me at all. But I'll, I will definitely show you at some point, uh, so d stay tuned for that, um, my final opinions on LRMs and stuff. Uh, the reason I like the catapults so much is that they're 65 tons, okay. So you can get a pretty fast engine there, you got pretty good maneuverability, your torso stays with you, you're not like an Atlas who's just like, gotta go really slow. I love, I love speed, I love a little mix of speed and, uh, and firepower. But the, the thing that really gets me about catapults is they're the first line of, uh, of, um, what's gonna call it? The first line of a mech chassis, uh, the, the, the one with the lowest amount of tons that allow you to actually specialize into things like PPC sniping, like on a, like, good scale, uh, PPC sniping, Gauss, rifle sniping, LRMs, and, 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 like, the possibilities are endless. And so I also have an SRM cat, which I will also show you, because, um, I was trying to do... You actually, there's actually proficiencies in this game. It's a way, if you want to completely master the mech, you have to buy at least three in the same chassis. It's not like a pay-to-win thing, I, at least I don't think, because you, you get it... You actually get C builds slowly over time. I have, like, a good amount, and, and, like, you know, as long as you... It's a fun game to play, and you get things changing all the time, so it's actually, it's quite nice. Uh, ooh, someone's over there. Acquired. Oh, it's Raven. Oh, ma machine guns? Why would you equip machine guns? It's like the worst thing you could possibly do. I'm gonna move up. There's nobody else's. But, like, you could have jump jets, and, like, it's like, it's it's one of the ones where you can make Target these interesting, acquired. very powerful builds, and, and, uh... And I like it. It's, it's actually fun. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the caves, but I'm gonna go the back way. I unfortunately, the K2 variant cannot have jump jets on it, um, so that's not great. But you know, what can I do? Enemy base is being captured. So we're apparently gonna cap them. However, I am going to swing around and I'm gonna try and get them while they're coming out of the cave, because that's that's something I do well. Either that, or I'm just gonna help cap, and then you're never gonna see this. Uh oh. Enemy base is being captured. Okay. Uh, I'm in, I've actually put myself into a terrible position. However, this is a dragon, and dragons actually suck ass. And you fucking hit me, you stupid... Whatever the hell you are. And I missed. Alright, what's this guy got? As, he's an SRM cat, so we need to take him out first. As, che as cheesy as this, like, these, these builds sound, like, you just take him out first, look at that. Look! Even though he was a, uh, even though he was a cheesy build, uh, we took him out like with relative Enemy ease. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is something I did try with my uh, K2 uh, mech, which, as I said, I ha it has the two ballistic slots. I could also put in two AC20s, and I clearly did not, I do not use that uh, because I don't really like the two AC20s because they have shorter range, uh, and I just they overheat a lot, and I just I didn't like them. I like the Gauss better because you know, I'm a sniping guy. 
Um, but you know, as I said, this this mech does have its weaknesses, and that's mostly it's just it's very. Uh, if you do hit its side, if you do hit my side torsos, and you manage to get through my armor, I'm pretty much dead. Uh, my armor is everything to me, because if you hit the Gauss rifles, they have a very high chance of exploding, and they tend to be right beside a light engine. So I'm a very fragile mech. I it basically, if my armor gets punctured in any way, I'm 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 fucking dead. So. As I said, everything has a disadvantage in this game, so this is this would be mine. I'm very powerful, very long range. I can hold my own at close range, but I'm very susceptible to concentrated fire or someone just screwing up my day from from afar as well. Because if someone has a similar build where they have something at long range and they get me first, well, I'm dead. So I hope you enjoyed my little video on the K2 variant of my catapult, and uh, I'll see you later.